Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the theoretical basis of neural networks, so let's get started. It is of course inspired by biological neural networks, so we represent each neuron with a half of a node. It is basically a directed graph, so we have the nodes and we have directed edges. Uh, not always directed, we are going to talk about it a bit later. So each edge has a weight. We are going to assign an integer or a double to each of the edges. It's going to represent the weights of these edges. And these neural networks are capable of learning by changing the weights of their connections. So we have to change the, these, these kinds of weights according to the error terms. Support vector machines and other simpler methods such as linear classifiers uh, gradually overtook neural networks in machine learning popularity, but with the advent of deep learning, neural nets are becoming more and more popular again. This deep learning is the Google's aspiration to, to be able to write uh, an algorithm that can recognize images, for example, that, that can learn a, a network to be able to drive a car and so on. So, as I said earlier, it was inspired by biological neural networks. As you can see, there are axons and uh, neurons. Each of these uh, neurons are connected one or more uh, axons, and this is what we are going to simulate with the help of uh, nodes and edges. So there are two main uh, neural networks. I mean, there are several neural networks, but the two most important are the Hopfield neural network, where each neuron is connected to every other neuron with an undirected edge. It's very important that there are no directed edges. On the other hand, feedforward neural networks, and this is the more popular, there are directed edges from input layer to hidden layer, plus from hidden layer to output layer. So let's take a look. At Hopefield Neural Network, we have these uh, uh, nodes, the A, B, C, and D. It represents uh, neurons, and we have connections between each of these nodes to any other nodes. So that's why all of the nodes are connected. And uh, this structure is able to uh, recognize patterns very, very efficiently. But we are not going to talk about it because the uh, feed-forward neural network uh, is much more popular and we can do a lot more thing with the help of this neural network. So here we have input layer. In the input layer we can have as many neurons as we want. Here we will have two neurons. And of course we can have hidden layers. Uh, in most cases there are just a single hidden layer with as many neurons as we want. Here we have three neurons in our hidden layer, but we can have 55, uh, 200, whatever. And Google's deep learning has several hidden layer, uh, but in most of the cases, one hidden layer is just enough. And there we will have an output layer, which is going to uh, give us uh, the solutions we are looking for. So, in a feed-forward neural network, as you can see, we have directed edges and we have an input layer, we have an output layer, and between the two of them, there are a hidden layer. Not always, we, we, we don't necessarily need a hidden layer, but uh, most of the cases we do need. So that's all about the introduction of uh, neural networks. Thanks for watching.